All right, let's watch a little bit of the amazing car chase from the 1968 Steve McQueen movie, Bullet. Okay, did you see that? Did you see that? I've seen this movie a million times. I don't know if I've ever actually consciously noticed this. I'm going to play it again. I went back a little bit. I'm going to play it again. So what is going on in this beat here where uh, the camera is locked off, camera's on a tripod, probably for safety concerns. There's probably not an operator there. Here comes the stunt driver skidding toward camera. <laughs> Swings around and is heading right to the camera. I'm going frame by frame. It hits this parked car which this parked car is being uh, shoved out of the way, and then it's all gone. Now I'm going to go back one frame. Here, here's this car, the bad guy's car, skid mark, this car getting out of the frame, and then it's completely gone. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames. This, uh, this shot goes on. So what's going on here? Well, the filmmakers, the editors, they really wanted to keep this shot going. Uh, they wanted to give this shot more tail, and maybe at the, f you know, the frame where they cut out of the camera actually got knocked over and probably revealed something that the director and the editors did not want to get revealed. Uh, see stands, camera, crew, who knows, or, or the camera just flying on a frame, uh, you know, tumbling around because it just got knocked off the tripod. But they wanted to keep that moment going. They wanted to keep that angle going, maybe to let the uh, sound effects uh, continue to work uh, their magic. So what is going on here? What this is revealing is a piece of film that is before the car squealing into frame. So the reason we know it's before is because there's no skid mark there and it's, you know, just like that. So what this shot does is a little bit of time travel. The shot just keeps moving forward in time and then it goes back in time. Now, sound effects work and there's a big car sound, you know, crash sound effect there. It's pretty cool, but in motion, I don't know, do we, do we notice it? And most filmmakers today might actually leave the car, the camera tumbling in frame, who knows? Let's see it one more time. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool.